Hello everyone. That's right, five years of puns, and I can't believe you're actually still here, uh, here with me and my friend. I would have thought you would have unfollowed me by now, um, but uh, you've stuck with me. I know I've, con I, I know I've, I've uh, contributed to a lot of pain and suffering over the last few years. I do appreciate you sticking with me and uh, continuing. And, and for those of you who are, who are the true uh, friends for playing along and uh, posting your own puns in the comments. It's been a blast. I've made some great friends with it. And yeah, that's 1,825 puns over the last 25, or last, not 25, we'll hope we get there, but last five years. Um, and uh, primarily the way that that started, um, I didn't just wanna uh, be a jerk and just started start po posting funny, stupid things on Facebook, although that is enjoyable. Um, really, it, it came from a little bit of self-reflection on myself. Um, from what I was experiencing at the time a few years ago, I, I found that I was consuming a lot of, of news and a lot of negative social media. And so the, the negativity on social media was starting to um, really, really, really uh, get, uh, get excessive. And um, as we've all seen, it's, it's gotten even worse since then. Um, so it was my goal back then to really disassociate myself from the negativity, from the news from everything that I was watching that was just infecting my brain with all of this negativity and, uh, uh, and affecting my ability to, to be the best person I could be and, and just kind of experiment with it and see if I could, if, if I was to just post something stupid a day and unfollow those things that were negative, if I could experience uh, more serenity, more joy, because uh, that's really the goal in life is, is we want to, you know, we all want to be happy. Um, and I don't think consuming all of that negativity uh, makes us happy, uh, but but we do. We 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 see it, and we we have to engage with it. It it it, it triggers the impulses in our brain to want to want to do something. Um, so I immediately just committed myself to not following those things, not following uh, uh, turning off the news, and um, unfollowing any um, non-productive. Uh, social media that was that was uh, inflammatory or uh, um, in any way kind of uh, politically driven or, th or things like that and you know I'll tell you it's been it's been it's been a miracle and it's been by no means perfect you know you see you can't help but see when you're on on these things um, uh, things that you don't agree with or or things that uh, um, you know you, you feel like you have a sense of of, of uh, obligation to right a wrong or, or uh, um, correct someone in some way. Um, and, and that you know, sometimes gets into my head that ah, maybe I should comment, maybe I should take the high road on this and let them know that you know, they're not that, what they're doing. But it, you know, in my experience, I've never felt better about that when I've done it. And uh, it, it never you know, improves my well-being. And it also takes a lot longer and takes a lot more energy to type up that comment than just to hit the unfollow button. So. You know, unfollow has been my friend over the last few years, and and it's been, uh, uh, and it has been very liberating in that sense. I've found that I do have a lot more free time. There's also something that that you know, doing that joke a day does um, for me, which is it starts the morning off and it forces me into the state where I'm a, I'm being productive. I'm I'm having having to use my brain to think about something. I'm being creative and I'm trying to think through different things, and also throughout the day when people are responding, trying to uh, come up with other puns, other ways that I could, uh, um, ways that we can interact, forces that creativity throughout the day. And a creative brain is a productive brain and, and, it, and it translates into everything else. Um, it, it sparks that creativity. I have a few more friends who post puns um, you know, on, a, on a daily basis that I see. And, uh, uh, and they, they are like the cr most creative people I know. Um, I see Ryan Chapman commented here. He is one of them. He's uh, by far one of the most creative uh, people, especially when it comes to puns. He's a master, um, and uh, um, and it just forces that creativity first thing in the morning. It also puts me in a positive state. You can't you can't invoke humor or that kind of level of, of playful stupidity without uh, um, without changing your state of mind into something more positive. Um, you know, it, it takes you out of that realm of negativity and puts you into that, into that right frame of mind. Um, and I know that throughout the day, I can look back at that post and comment. If I'm ever having, like struggling, if I'm overwhelmed or something, I can go back to that 
read through the comments, laugh a little bit at the stupidity, and then uh, type my own. And it makes that little change in our brain. So what I've discovered throughout that whole process throughout the last five years is that that, that level of engagement, that level of, of, of that creativity that, that is sparked first thing in the morning, that simple change of state is actually a, a, uh, a superpower um, that we can develop. Um, it's, a, it's a superpower that can help us to overcome the overwhelm and the anxiety that, that, is, that is within us. Humor is a great source of healing, and, uh, and that's why I, uh, I enjoy doing it. Um, you know, as I said, at, the, at that time, uh, back then, I was just consuming so much news, and we were in the same, um, you know, in the same time period at that point as we are now, where there was just a lot of political uh, b uh, polarism and, and things like that that was occurring. And uh, and I just found that that consuming the news, consuming all of that negativity on social media, was was just fueling my anxiety. And it was such a relief to just unfollow that stuff, to stop watching the news. To watch uh, to, to start only focusing on the positive and you know I saw my feed start blowing up with uh, uh, with more positive things and you know you may be thinking well where am I gonna get my information how am I gonna learn about things that are happening in the world how am I going to know what opinion to have and and things like that well as far as getting the information trust me the information will find you if it's important enough you'll learn about it I haven't watched the news in five years I still know what's going on in the world I still know what's happening um, and I, it, you can't avoid that in this day and age, but it just doesn't overwhelm you. It doesn't, it doesn't infect your, it infect your psyche. Um, and, uh, and how are you going to form opinions or change the world or do, or do the things you want to do? You're never going to change the world by posting a comment on somebody else's social media. That's never going to change anybody's mind. It's never going to do anything like that. Uh, my, my personal opinion, and this is just my opinion, if you want to spark you know, true change, get out in your community and change it there. Um, you know, if, if you're passionate about a subject that somebody is doing, you know, start local and then advance to, to, to global. That's, that's, that's the way any great venture starts, is just start on, start small, start in your local community, face to face and, and person to person, those are the ways to do it. Um, it doesn't happen with co-posting comments, that only fuels the fire. And it also elevates, <laughs> elevates that post to, to, to more eyes. When you're commenting on these things, it elevates that kind of stuff. Um, and um, and yeah, and as far as as uh, uh, you know, not seeing those things, if you if you feel like you're going to offend somebody from un unfollowing them, first of all, you know they're they may not know, um, and uh, and your welfare, your your state of mind is better, is more important than um, you know than maintaining a toxic uh, feed that's coming into your mind. Um, so, um, so that's, anyway, that's in a nutshell. I know I took a totally different direction than you may have expected on that, but, um, but it is true. It's, it's, it's the best way that I could have, um, thought at the time and the easiest and most simple way that I could have thought to, to change my mindset early in the morning and to bring a little bit of joy, if not like a little bit of suffering <laughs> to, uh, people, um, to people on Facebook and it's become an anxiety superpower. It's really helped to alleviate my anxiety. So. You know what I would what I would um, encourage you to do is to is to disengage with the negativity and start making um, you know social media a positive space somewhere somewhere where we can uh, somewhere that, something that's that's empowering something that's encouraging something that is that that promotes health and wellness and and and, and vitality it's not social media that is the toxicity it's the, it's the interactions on social media that's a toxicity this is just a tool and you know we can we can turn it into what we want um, as long as we disengage with the negativity and we work on a, on a local level to try to try to change the world and in, in our own little space um, you'll see how much of an impact that has versus commenting on somebody's uh, somebody's feed in a negative way uh, see how much the impact it has that when you ignore the memes and the uh, um, and the you know hateful comments and the and the things that uh, that that are provocative in nature that try to provoke hatred and things like that, and you just start engaging in positivity, uh, it makes a world of difference, and it changes your mindset. Um, it's counterintuitive, but it works. So um, I encourage you to do that. I hope I hope everybody's uh, 
having a great day. Uh, enjoy my puns because I'm going to post them for five more years, if not 25 more years. So uh, anyway, have a great day, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.